hello guys welcome to my channel and today we will be making one of my best sellers from my store and that soup is the tomato and the good milk soup aka love spell okay so what does tomato puree do for your skin or what does tomato do for your skin tomato helps to um, control excessive oil it helps to delay aging it helps with acne it helps to brighten the skin and it also helps to relieve irritation on the skin also good milk has or contains lactic acid that helps to brighten out your skin and it is a gentle exfoliator for the skin why love spell why that name so that name was inspired by valentine's day for lovers day and we were looking for a red and white soap okay and so we had to come up with natural skin brightness that would help your skin which was the tomato for red and the good milk for white and then i don't know the name love spell just came out so to my nigerian sisters that think that love spell is a spiritual soap because I've had a lot of ladies come to my DM and my WhatsApp to say, oh, I want to get this man. Can Would this soap work for me to use to bath and find favor in the eyes of men? Please, this soap is not for that. It is certainly not for that. It is a natural bath soap made with tomato and good milk. Also, you would see in the video that when I was making this soup, I was souping at a very, very cool temperature. Okay, I had allowed my lye water and I also allowed my um, oil mix get to a very, very cool temperature. So you would see that once I poured in the lye water into my oil mixture, it quickly thickened up. And that is because it was a cold day and I had let it get so cold and okay the design I was going for I couldn't achieve the design I was going for because I had an immediate thick batter to work with but in any way I think I had it under control so you tell me if you think you love the design on that soap so until I come your way next week happy soaking and enjoy the video okay so here we have our oil mix in this mix we have a very very high quantity of um, shea butter in it and we have sunflower we have olive oil we have coconut oil and what is going into this mixture is my tomato puree and goat milk mixed together in that cup so pretty much tomato blend it blend it till smooth if you want to sieve you can sieve and then i added my um good milk into that mixture and i blended it properly and i had that mix and that's how i got that mixture it's a tomato and good milk soap and so what you just saw going in is the lye solution um properly mixed into my oil batter and I have my fragrance oil now going in and mixed in properly of course why this batter became very very thick is because as I said I was soaping at a very very cold temperature and I have a high quantity of shea butter in this um, particular recipe and so it became thick instantly plus as I said I'm I'm soaping at a very very high or cold temperature rather um, I have a student in class so she's helping me mix in the red so I have my micas shed out in different partitions and we are mixing everything up at this point because as I said I couldn't um, do the design I wanted to do usually I would go with the flow because that's soap for you anything can happen anything can change so you have to be flexible enough to go with the flow 
so it didn't give me time to mix all my white in the brown batter so I had to improvise and do a different design which was in the pot swell um, that's the name of the technique in the pot swell mm -hmm. um, so that's me trying to just mix up everything and make sure everything I still have a relatively smooth pour and you can see I have to tap down to avoid air bubbles or pockets in the soap so yeah So I have successfully gotten everything into the mold. Remember to tap down your mold if you have this kind of thick consistency to work with. Make sure you tap your mold to take out the air bubbles. Now I am putting in an embed into my soap. And this time, usually I would put my embeds inside down 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 inside the soap but this time i want it on the top of my soap all right so i have my love embed put on top of my soap and i'm just going to finish up with the remaining soap batter my lovely white and red so i don't know have you guys noticed soap as like the red we have in nigeria if you have a contact for red mica please hook me up because this red stains my spatula i don't know it i don't think red has been gotten right in nigeria or if you have found a good source for red micas please do let me know so here's me just texturing the top nothing so fancy it just swirls on the top of my soap these days soaping has been a bit hectic like it, it's it's nice to really soap in the cold weather like you have I, I i find it a bit more challenging to be honest with you um probably because i use a very very high amount of hard oils and at the same time I want to achieve beautiful swells which is almost you know impossible there are some designs you can achieve with a high amount of hard oils but pretty much hard oils are for like plain soups in my own opinion um, so the best I can make of it I really don't go in with oh this is what I want to achieve you know i just i'm prepared for anything that wants to happen and see the best i can make out of it when it comes to designing my soup i hope that makes sense so yeah i kept the soup it didn't even stay for 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 24 hours it was ready to unmold because of the high content of hard oils and so this is the result i had i honestly i am pleased with the results I got out of these tomato and good milk bar soups I'm pleased with it and you can see the smile on my face I'm excited it came out well came out fine it's pretty much a pretty bar of soup or soups so thank you guys for watching this video do let me know what kind of content you would like to see on our channel um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet I always say subscription is free join this little family and as I said do let me know what you would like to see in our next video or coming videos all right thank you and I love you so much 